77 WABC. The world is a brighter place with the Yola Nash Show. 77 WABC Radio New York. Welcome to the Yola Nash Show. I'm your host, Yola Nash, and I'm so happy to introduce my very special guest. He is a brilliant, internationally recognized and awarded medical doctor and scientist, PhD biochemist, and has been doing cancer research for over 40 years. And he has been saving lives of thousands and thousands of people for so many years. And he's joining me now on the Yolana Show. Please welcome Dr. Stan Buzinski. I'm so happy. Well, I'm very happy to talk to you and be able to explain to the people how to approach cancer problems. You have dedicated your entire career to cancer research and cancer treatment, and your knowledge and your experience is absolutely extraordinary. And I know that um, having you on the show will help us to understand uh, at least a few things about cancer. And Dr. Buzinski, why people get cancer? Well, um, we know that cancer originates from mutated genes. People are getting cancer when they accumulated sufficient number of mutated genes in their body. These genes, they form information carrying network. And uh, this network is causing malignant cells to multiply without control and ultimately kill the patient. So this is the disease of our genes. And uh, for a few decades, you've been offering scientifically based non-toxic cancer medicines that you discovered uh, back in the 70s. Please tell us about your incredible discovery. I was working at that time in the university in Lublin on mm -hmm. my PhD thesis, and uh, I discovered that in the blood of patients who had advanced cancer, there was deficiency of certain chemicals, and these chemicals belong to the group of small proteins or peptides. And I was very lucky to receive funding from President Nixon's war on cancer. I received grants. I became a principal investigator at Baylor College of Medicine and MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston. Ultimately, by the time when President Nixon promised American people that there would be cure of cancer, we were able to cure the first patients by using medications which I initially discovered in the human body and which I named antineoplastins. Do you remember very first patients you could treat with antineoplastins? Yes, I do. The first patient was treated before Christmas of 1976. And, uh, well, it's amazing what was the name of this patient. This was a Mexican patient who was terribly advanced, and his first name was Jesus. Head oh, was wow. by <laughs> so interesting. American. Treated around the Christmas time. He was terribly advanced. I treated him with the doctor, prominent doctor, who later became the head of the National Cancer Institute of Mexico. Unfortunately, he was too advanced and he died. But the next patient was cured. So it's amazing. It's like according to the scripture. Wow. The first patient died. He sacrificed his life in order to save the rest. Okay. What an unbelievable situation. And uh, Dr. Pushinsky, doctors and scientists used to think uh, cancer is just like one disease. But now we know also because of your incredible work, we know that cancer is much more complex than that. Uh, Please help us understand what's the genesis of cancer. Uh, well, you see, uh, the doctors are very conservative. You find very few doctors who would like to really be pioneers. And uh, they follow simply <laughs> one of the great discoveries regarding cancer, which is the fact that the cancer can be diagnosed under the microscope. Mm -hmm. It happened almost 200 years ago by the great doctor who was born in today's Poland. Mm -hmm. He introduced the diagnosis of cancer under the microscope. And since then, the doctors look under the microscope and they put the label on cancer. This is such and such lung cancer, this is breast cancer, this is prostate cancer, etc. And then they treat the name of cancer, okay? But under a single name, you have thousands of different varieties because these different cancers have different genes which are involved. So our approach is do not treat the name of cancer, to, but to treat the genes which are causing cancer. Basically, your revolutionary approach towards the treatment of cancer is based on genomic signature. Let's explain a little bit more what makes your treatment so unique and so different from everybody else in the world. 
we are trying to identify the most important genes which are causing cancer in individual patients. How many of genes are you talking about? Well, the average from 60 to about 650 genes in individual patients, uh, depending on the type of cancer. You don't need to identify all of them. You need to identify the most important and then put together the treatment plan which will treat sick genes. Mm -hmm. You get rid of these genes, the patient is cured, okay? And you can find out you get rid of these genes by running the blood test because you can identify these genes in the bloodstream. You are dealing with information processing network. You are dealing with information processing disease, which is cancer. Mm -hmm. So it's not the right way to really mechanically destroy this, okay? Because you won't be able to destroy network mechanically, but you can turn off. Uh, the various uh, ingredients of the network, we call them nodes, by using switches. And what we are using are molecular switches. We turn off the genes which are part of the network, and the entire network will collapse. Wow. And uh, I have a few questions uh, sent by our listeners. Is cancer contagious? In human, there is no evidence that cancer is contagious. Uh, however, it's contagious in some animals, uh, like in chicken, and uh, well, there is certain uh, animal in Australia which is called Tasmanian devil, and uh, they have uh, uh, contagious cancer which has decimated their population. But in human, so far, we don't have evidence for that. Mm, thank God. Uh, Dr. Pushinsky, does stress contribute to cancer development? That's another question from our listeners. Uh, yes, absolutely it does. And uh, there was a lot of research done in this area, stress and uh, uh, the way of life obviously has a lot of to do. Mm -hmm. uh, like, for instance, not sufficient hours of sleep. It was proven that they can double incidence of cancer. Then uh, working, for instance, on the night shift. Uh, also can increase uh, uh, cancer uh, incidence. So stress obviously plays a very important part. And we have to control it, okay, by healthy lifestyle. It's not easy to do because we are living in this Crazy fast. environment. <laughs> <Yes>. but, <laughs> but that's something which we have to strive to do. Mm -hmm. And for those who are joining us right now, you are listening to WABC Radio, the Yola Nash Show, and I'm talking to internationally recognized and awarded medical doctor and scientist, Dr. Stan Buzinski. He's a brilliant scientist who has discovered a non-toxic and gentle treatment for cancer. And I'd love to emphasize what makes Dr. Buzinski so interesting is that no time in history has any individual scientist entered FDA-sanctioned clinical trials for an effective and innovative cancer treatment, which is based on genomic analysis. Dr. Buzinski, your pioneering work has the potential to change the face of medicine. Would this be your dream? Yes, this is my dream, and that's what I'm trying to do. I am presenting our results at many congresses. I am publishing numerous publications. Uh, I am sharing my information with the other doctors, and we have a number of doctors all over the world who are working with us, okay? Uh, but it's not easy. It will take time, but I believe perhaps in another 10 years, that's how the cancer will be treated, by treating the genes which are causing cancer, by using combination of medications which have very limited toxicity, if any, and which can actually get rid of cancer. How is cancer treated at your world-renowned clinic, the Brzezinski Clinic? Well, first of all, we would like to know if the patient is a good candidate for our treatment, and we are concentrated on some of the toughest cases you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, most of our patients were classified as terminal patients, and uh, many of them are coming to us from hospice. So initially, we are trying to evaluate uh, medical records to find out if we can really help the patient, and if we come to conclusion that, yes, we can, we advise the patient to come to our clinic then, uh, we run uh, genomic analysis and we put together a treatment plan which consists usually with medications which work on the genes, which is called gene-targeted medications and immunotherapy. And we also use our medication. One of our medications is already 
approved by the FDA, as a prescription medication, and uh, two others uh, are at the final steps of FDA approval. They are available under the new law, which is right to try law. We are trying to identify during the first month or two if the treatment is really helping, if the tumors are shrinking or if the tumors are gone. And once we come to conclusion that yes, we move forward until we get rid of any abnormal genes which can detect in patient system in the blood. And finally, when this happens, uh, this is something which can be called cure if it persists for a number of years. Dr. Buszynski, what's the most rewarding in your work? Uh, well, I believe the most rewarding is to see the patient who was sentenced to die, like a three-month-old child, uh, whose parents uh, went to any possible place in the country, and finally they came to us when the child probably had three weeks of life left. This was 20 years ago. The child completely recovered from horrible brain tumor, like brainstem glioma. And right now she has the picture when she is successfully married and she has her own child. Oh, <laughs> 20 wow. years later, completely tumor-free. This is what is called cancer cure. It's not just getting rid of the tumor, which will come back in another month or two. Getting rid of the tumor and live healthy life for, I say, 20 or 30 years and have children or even grandchildren. So that's the cure. And that's the most beautiful uh, scenario to see, I can imagine. I'd like to remind our listeners about a fantastic documentary called Buzinski the Movie, and the movie is about you, and uh, it became a massive success around the world, received numerous awards. It was produced by internationally award-winning film director, producer Eric Morola, and to find out more, please visit buzinskimovie.com, buzinskimovie.com. And that's B-U-R-Z-Y-N-S-K-I, BuzhinskiMovie.com. And this incredible movie can be found on Amazon Prime and Netflix. And I absolutely encourage all of you to check it out. You'll be inspired, you'll be educated, shocked. Uh, so again, BuzhinskiMovie.com. And uh, Dr. Buzhinski, how can people get in touch with you? Well, please uh, give us a call. Our number is 713-335-5697, 713-335-5697. Also, uh, you can uh, reach us through the internet, uh, buzinskiclinic.com. And our staff is ready to give you more information and see how can we help you. Yes. So again, uh, the phone number is 713-335-5697. And for more information, please visit BuzhinskiClinic.com, BuzhinskiClinic.com. There's so much great information. Uh, Dr. Buzhinski, we admire your impressive work, your discoveries, and your desire to keep fighting forward and keep saving lives. This is so incredible. We need more people like, like you. So thank you so much for being with us today. I truly appreciate your time. It's my great pleasure, and I hope we can help more people. Thank you. 77 WABC. Stay informed. Yola Nash is New York.